Welcome back everybody on this cold Monday night. A little patch of cloudiness covering a portion of the News 10 viewing area. Now as we get further into the overnight, it's possible these clouds will break up, bring us a partly cloudy to mostly clear sky. And of course that will allow the temperature to really drop. But we look over here to the left hand side of your screen. See we have snow here now at six o'clock when I was on News 10 at six, I was showing you this and just showing how there was just a little bit of snow edging into the border of Nebraska and South Dakota. But look how this has spread all across almost the entire state of Nebraska. So this is headed in our direction and I do have snow in the forecast for us. In the meantime, it is eight degrees. It's eight in, or six in Paris, eight in Casey. Robinson has nine in Vincennes, 12 degrees. So a cold night with a cold breeze as well. An eight mile per hour breeze from the northwest, Robinson six, Vincennes 14 and Olney eight and Flora nine. So you combine the temperature that we have with the wind speed, which is not a lot of great. It's not all that windy out there, but still we have a breeze. And so the wind chill factor is four degrees below zero. In Paris, it's five below. Robinson one below, Vincennes three below, only two below. It's zero for the wind chill in Effingham and three below in Mattoon. So it's no wonder that there are delays for school tomorrow. And it's wise, I believe, uh, that the uh, schools are delayed. You know, you wait till the sun comes up. And uh, of course, it's really, really cold early in the morning. So let's take a look at the Storm Team 10 future cast. And by the way, if you don't see it at the bottom of your screen, you can always go to WTHITV.com for the latest closings and delays there as well. So here's a look at the Storm Team 10 future cast through the nighttime tonight and into the day tomorrow. We'll have some sunshine tomorrow, but then as the day goes on, the clouds really roll right back in and then it starts to snow. Here's midnight tomorrow night. See how we have snow already moving across the area. So it's possible that by this time tomorrow night, we could have some light snow and then a little heavier snow moving along as well into four o'clock in the morning and then throughout the morning hours on Wednesday, but probably by noon on Wednesday, all of this snow will be out of here. Right now I'm thinking as far as taking a look at what computers are indicating and so on. I, and this is really kind of iffy at this point. I'm thinking two to four inches of snow and four inches may be on the top edge of what we actually get. So we'll take a closer look at this tomorrow to see the path of the center of the storm, but you can count on some accumulation of snow. Partly cloudy, very cold tonight, three degrees for the overnight low. Partly cloudy, continued cold tomorrow, high of about 19. And then for tomorrow night, not as cold tomorrow night, down to 16, but snow developing. And then the seven day forecast calls for Wednesday, some snow lasting into the first part of the day, a little warmer on Wednesday, a high of 30. 17 degrees Wednesday night, 32 on Thursday, but another chance of snow on Friday with a high of 32. Right now, the weekend looks like we'll have daytime highs in the 30s and it will be dry.